Hi folks and welcome back to the channel and what a little gem I've got to review today. Those familiar with the channel will of course recognise this little turd from a video I did last year. Now I did describe this as possibly being the worst camera in the world however I think I'm going to have to reevaluate that and say that this is now just the worst camera in the world in current production. Ladies and gentlemen I present this the TDC-15 And quite frankly what a waste of plastic and electronics it is. Interested? Well stay tuned and we'll put it through its paces later but first a little bit of history about the TDC-15. Well to be honest this is going to be a really short segment because um, yeah finding information on this camera was nigh on impossible to find. Like some mad Victorian era uncle locked away in the attic by the family and never mentioned in public again well this camera seems to be thought of a lot like that certainly whoever made this little gem has uh, left no trace of it anywhere to be found on the internet in fact all there is to be found about this camera seems to be for sale ads on various selling sites of poor unfortunates trying to offload these things onto other unsuspecting buyers. And why is that you may ask? Well let's have a look at the box that may give us a clue as to some of its selling points. Sixteen megabyte memory. Great. Free software after all who doesn't love free software? It's always the best. Might as well cancel Adobe Creative Suite now. Capacity to hold up to 152 compressed images. Clearly a selling feature. AVI video function. So that's my YouTube celebrity status sorted now with this little camera. And last and possibly the best feature a free plastic tripod so at least there might be something useful in this box so we'll unbox this little media powerhouse and see what's inside first an instruction manual oh that lovely free software We have the camera itself, and there we have it, nice and light and plasticky, cables, and of course that lovely free plastic tripod might hold back on saying it's going to be useful. The TDC-15 takes three AAA batteries so we'll power it up and get out and take some photographs. Well guys out today with the little TDC camera I'm not expecting it to be up to much to be honest with 100k images but we shall see what it gets out in the bright sunshine it's got to be the best kind of lighting for this little camera, so we can only try, can't we? So I'm going to roll the images now. I don't suppose it's going to take long. The camera will only take 19 images on the memory inside the camera, so it's going to be short and sweet. Well, those images, there was no point in putting an individual image onto the slide, the sizes that they come off the camera at, 
So I put all those thumbnails onto a single slide for you to look at. Yeah, normally I have to reduce the size of a file to fit onto a 1080p screen. Not in this case. As you can see, several of the images were corrupted during transfer from the camera to the computer. Now, we can laugh about that now, but that was really typical of the era. Quite happened quite a lot with early digital cameras. And just for your benefit, I've actually blown up one of these images so you can see it a bit clearer. Now it looks reasonable, I suppose, but don't be fooled, that's down to Photoshop uh, interpolating that image rather than the quality in the image itself. So you'll learn if the photos are rubbish then perhaps it is its use as a video camera that gets this camera some kind of credibility. No, not even slightly. The camera records at a pitiful six frames a second and that's only until the memory is full so the best you can hope for is a 12 second video however because we had the camera set onto its highest setting we got a three second clip in modern terms of course this thing is nothing more than a paperweight well it would be a paperweight if it was heavy enough but we need to remember that this is a camera from around 2002-2003 and expectations that people had of digital cameras in that era were much lower. Back in the early noughties, people were just starting to entertain the idea of broadband, and before that time, we were of course stuck with the pitiful 56 kilobytes per second dial-up internet. In fact, it took even longer for full broadband to be rolled out across the country, so, even in 2009, only 50% of the population had adopted broadband. If, like me, you're old enough to remember dial-up broadband, then you'll remember sitting there for ages trying to download a web page with half a dozen photographs on it. It seems insane now, but that was the reality. And a camera like this, well, it wasn't really trying to provide photographic perfection it was just trying to provide images you could use as an illustration to go along with some text so while we can laugh at the tdc 15 in today's terms perhaps we shouldn't and we should just enjoy the camera for what it is a charming little reminder of how things were at the start of the home internet experience as ever thank you very much for watching I do really enjoy it if you comment and leave a comment below. I like answering those and reading all your thoughts. If you have enjoyed this video, then please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel a lot. Better still, if you'd like to support the channel more, then you can do one of two things. Firstly, you can subscribe to the channel. That doesn't cost you a penny and it really helps me grow this channel. If you want to support the channel financially, then there's a little buy me a coffee link where you can leave a small donation to help progress this channel. Speaking of which, thanks very much to Dennis Murray, who kindly did buy me a coffee in one of the last videos. Thank you very much, Dennis. Thanks for your support. So that just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.